Hello. Today I will be demonstrating how to add your own images to EasyStamp. You can choose to either replace the supplied image or add completely new ones. I will show you how to add additional image as well as first day cover images. EasyStamp allows up to five images per stamp. You will need to know how to scan and save your images as BMP or JPEG images to the correct folder. You can also cut and paste images from the clipboard. I will be using our own product Easy Image as our image editor for the demonstration used today. The key step to adding and changing images is to place them into the correct folder under Easy Stamp. You can choose to re replace the supplied image or add a second image of your own completely. We do not recommend that you overwrite the supplied images. So let's begin by changing the image shown here with a new one. Let's, uh, let's include a pair instead of a single. So what you do is you click on the image link icon here. Then you can browse for your image that you've already saved. I've already saved it here as a pair. I click OK. I click on Save. And now our image is displayed instead of the supplied image. You can undo this step very easily by going back to the image link icon and then click on Clear, Save and the original image comes back. Now let's say we wanted to add a first day cover image for this stamp. Again, you click on the image link icon, you click on the first day cover image um, window, and then click on browse, and then I've already placed it in the proper folder, and I'll show you how I did that later. Click OK, click on save, and now you have the regular stamp plus the first day cover image. Finally, let's paste one in from the clipboard. To do that, first I'm going to clear these images. And clear, and then primary image, clear, and save. Okay, so I'm going to switch to easy image, grab a pair, and I'm going to cut and paste that into the clipboard, which I've just done. Now I'm going to switch back to easy stamp, and go back to the image link editor and I'm going to paste from the clipboard and I'm going to give it an a image name I'm going to call it my1739.bmp and save it and there we go as I said you can undo any of these now the key to adding your own images is knowing where to place them. If you take a look in the folder structure under Easy Stamp, you will see that there is the Sofro folder, there is the Easy Stamp 8 folder, then you'll see the Images folder, and under there each country will have its own folder structure already uh, pre-supplied for you. And if you see for the USA, there's images uh, folders called 234 FDC. These are for images 2, 3, and 4 if you wanted to keep them separate or you could place them all in the same location as I have done. So the key is when you're scanning to place them into correct folder. Let's switch back to Easy Stamp and we'll undo that and put it back to the way it was. and you see how simple it really is. Finally, if you would like to contribute your images that you've scanned to EasyStamp, please email us and we can show you how. Thank you.